Hello, everybody. It's day eight. Uh, it's January 8th, so day eight of the carnivore diet. What news do I have? So woke up this morning, weighed in, gained a couple of tenths back, which I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, again, that's just I think that's just water weight going up and down. So pretty much sticking to the program, which is two steps forward, one step back. So that's OK. I my body fat percentage also went up as well, which I thought was odd. But to be fair, I'm measuring all this stuff on my watch. So I don't I don't expect it to be hugely accurate, but I would expect that the trends would go the right direction. So hopefully over time we'll see a reduction in the in the actual body fat. There may not be a change in weight because I'm going back to the gym or I'm trying to go back to the gym and do a lot more weight training. So there could be, I could, my weight could stay pretty much the same if I put on just a little bit of muscle will offset a lot of fat. So not really sure about that. I mean, I'm quite happy with my scale. I've had that for a couple of years and it does a really good job. So it's just the body fat measurement is a bit weird because it's on my Samsung watch and I have no idea how accurate that is. So we'll sort of check it and see how that goes over time. I've been really strict on the diet today. I looked in, I also looked into, sorry, I go back. I've been really strict on the diet today. One thing that I'm doing this time that I used to do when I was actually dieting the first time and, and really trying to lose some weight and I was doing low carb, more like an Atkins than a, than a carnivore diet is. But one of the things I did that was really successful was eating very early in the morning and having basically the same thing every day. But at least, excuse me, at least when I get up in the morning, I'm usually a little bit hungry. And so just having a bit, even a couple of eggs and maybe one or two pieces of bacon or some, you know, something to to go with it, I think that tends to set me up for the day. And it means I don't get hungry and I don't want to snack sort of midway through the morning. So I've been doing that the last few days. I can't really cook bacon because the family gets annoyed with me because the smell of bacon wakes them up. But um, <laughs> but never mind. Um so yeah, so anyway, that's that's been going quite well. I did the electrolytes yesterday. I haven't taken any today, but I still feel okay. I think I probably do want to start taking them more often, and it's probably one of those things I need to like be on them for a week or so before they really, you know, I really start to see any impact. But and I realize that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find something that I can get in the UK that's maybe a little bit cheaper than the element stuff that I have at the moment. And I'll start doing that soon. So I'll let you know when I start that. And oh, the other thing is I saw a, I saw a really interesting video by a couple and I'll, I'll try and find it again and put it in the show notes. But they were talking about their 30 days on the carnivore diet. And I have to say I had sort of video, I had diet update video jealousy because they were, their videos were really good. And they had a lot of, they, they didn't, uh, they obviously recorded a daily journal, but then they had put this into a 30 day sort of recap and they had some really nice B-roll that they'd taken of each other and they had weigh in and they had befores and afters and all sorts of stuff that, that they did, which was, which was really cool actually. And it made me think, yeah, I need to, I know I'm doing these journals and, and, um, I, maybe I need to up my game with a bit more B-roll and stuff. So hopefully, maybe as I move forward, I'll try and do more B-roll when I'm at the gym and maybe take some videos and stuff when I do that. So look forward to that. I'm working on working in B-roll into my into my editing process coming up. So hopefully I'll learn how to do that. That's part of my learning program is to learn how to do that. Anyway, I think that's enough for today. It's all settled. I'm going to be in Cambridge, uh, London and Cambridge over the next couple of days. So I'm going to be on the road and traveling. I'll probably do an update from a mobile phone or something like that. But the the main thing is I probably won't get to the gym because I'm going to be away from home, but I will be doing a lot more steps every day. So I usually do about fifteen to 20,000 steps every time I go to Cambridge because I walk everywhere. So 
I'll get plenty of steps in and, and get plenty of exercise between doing that and faffing around on all the trains and everything that we do. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Looking forward to it. Still feeling good, actually quite energetic and sleeping better. My sleep scores have actually gone up. I don't think I've ever consistently been in the 80s. Uh, this many days. I think I'm in the 80s three days in a row now, again, from my watch. So I don't know what it means, but it seems to be good. So I figure the higher the score, the better. And um, so, yeah, so I, I do feel like I'm sleeping better when I sleep and, and maybe that's reduced caffeine as well. But um, anyway, there we go. Again, day eight in the, in the can. Looking forward to day nine. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.